So we have everything here. We have our PVC tubing, the Bunsen burner, ball valve, a uh, little T valve here, the cork that we need to drill out. Uh, the, everything's a barbed fitting, so when, any, anything you're going to use as far as the PVC, it's going to be a barbed fitting, it should fit in just basically with, with pressure. I am going to put some uh, plumber's tape on this just to keep the gas and everything sealed up. It's the piece of copper I kind of scrounged for the balloon and the balloon itself I actually did get from a local florist just as the uh, just as the instructions kind of point out that you can ask a local florist and he did not charge me so that was good. But, um, but this is the idea is that the, the copper will go into the tube and just so happens I need to kind of burr this, but the tube will fit into this as well. So this is pretty much everything we need to uh, to get this going on here. Okay? And don't forget the uh, duct tape. So one thing I wanted to show everyone was that the the cork is actually really it's obviously it's very very soft and even even if you didn't have a drill if you had a drill bit or something that could gouge it out you can actually get pretty far um, by just kind of drilling it out by hand this material is soft enough that just by me turning my hand I can actually get through the better part of it anyway okay so like I was saying you can get away with just drilling out these this cork with uh, actually just twisting it around um, twisting it around the drill bit itself and that works pretty well uh, so this is for the 3 8 the 3 8 T so I went with um, 11 16 uh, drill bit so it should work fine I'm going to put some hot glue on this and then kind of barb that in there and uh, but I'll do that once I get closer to the actually capping the water bucket. Okay, so that is the T-valve on the cork. Take your piece of copper and slide that in there somewhere. Let's get started first. Alright, so our copper's through. All right, I tested it, I blew into it to make sure that the air was going through. It was a little tight. It ripped a little bit here, but I got it into the balloon. And I guess the way this flap works is it keeps everything from kind of coming out. So, but uh, when in doubt, duct tape it. Oops, so, Probably not that much, but just enough to wrap it. Okay, so these are the two pieces of vinyl, vinyl tubing that are cut to 25 centimeters each. I'm just going to go ahead and slide those on. Onto the barbed fittings. Ok, 
Okay, and that should work for our gas. All right. So, with the ball valve, we got to put these two uh, two nail barb fittings on on either end. Before you do that, though, it's not a bad idea to add some Teflon tape, plumber's tape. So, it doesn't take very long. This stuff is very inexpensive. So. One little wrap like that will do it. Do most of it by hand and then do it a couple of turns. And that should do it. Okay, one thing I wanted to point out just so in case there was a discrepancy this side is 3 eighths of an inch barb and this is quarter of an inch. Now, the Bunsen burner I got from Amazon, I think most Bunsen burners, I guess, come with a quarter inch barb. So, for this side, the one that's going towards the Bunsen burner that I'll, I'll set up later, that will be with quarter inch tubing. And again, just a press fitting. And the other side, with the gas from the, uh, the tank for the balloon, is going to be 3 eighths. So, just so you understand what that, what's going on with that. So, to finish this, for now at least. I'm gonna just apply this. I might wrap it in duct tape anyway. Okay. The ball valve. Alright, this is let's see this is on. So that's closed. That's open. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it closed for now while I set up with the balloon. The copper with the balloon, I'll tape this as well. I just tape this whole thing. And this is our assembly. So this will lead to the Bunsen burner, which we'll control with this valve. And this will be our uh, biogas storage. Okay, so I'm going to hook this up right now. So until we start getting gas, this will hold off. I'll hook it up to the Bunsen burner later. And this should start feeding. So as we'll see, and I'll add with pictures and I'll show with updates, this balloon should start to fill up with the biogas. So one of the things they recommend to uh, is to keep your biogas digester in a warm place. Uh, but also keep it away from sunlight so that algae doesn't grow in the water solution. So my simple elegant solution I guess is to just keep it in this garbage can which is a darker plastic so might even encourage the uh, biogas to work its way up a little more as the sunlight hits it. So but The last part to add to this was the um, I did a 3 8 fitting in, in 3 8 PVC because because the the T valve that I got here was really that's all I could find was a 3 8 T valve so I just did that and at the barb fitting I just put a 3 8 uh, ball valve fitting I put a 3 8 barb fitting and then a quarter inch because my Bunsen burner that I got um, on Amazon was like eleven dollars or something that was um, is a quarter inch fitting. Um, so do, yeah, make sure you use quarter inch, so for that, I would have just done the whole thing in quarter inch, but um, it also worked out that the piece of copper that I had to um, fit nicely into the diameter of this, so anyway, just hook up your last piece here, yeah, just press that on, okay, and everything's pretty tight, so uh, in my balloon, I know I have gas. I don't know if it's methane or carbon dioxide or both, but I do have pressure here. So this is a very simple system. Really the way it works is that you're supposed to have a partner with you to 
compress the gas and that'll move the gas through the T-fitting when I open the valve it'll come through and hopefully I'll have a flame that I can light um, we're about to see I am gonna get a lighter or a match or something just to see if this is gonna work fingers crossed let's see